Alert weather. Getting the snow where we like to see it in our local mountains, and it's coming down pretty good at times over the Teton Pass. Uh, traffic's moving okay over the pass. It hasn't been uh, at top speeds, but they've been slowed down just a little bit when those cars get to the top of the pass. I've noticed checking out these webcams, but we are looking to see fairly typical fall stormy conditions tonight with scattered snow and rain plus gusty winds working on in more of a rain snow mix for the lower elevations, uh, but it's a mess right now. If you're trying to get into Montana, they're getting the worst of it on Manita Pass I-15 as you're getting up to the Montana state line. So you're down to one lane in each direction. Looks like it's still coming down at a pretty good clip and it's slowing you down a bit there, working up towards Dillon. Now, here locally for the rest of the Snake River Plain, the snow showers rotating in here around a convergence zone, and that's where we get the winds pushing against each other on the backside of a cold front, which the cold front is now exiting the region. So the cold front, again, we're kind of in the wake of that guy. So we're still getting wind in from the north. We're getting wind in from the southwest, and that's converging in the central part of the Snake River Plain with some scattered snow showers right now. We had a band of snow work throughout of Idaho Falls into Ammon and Iona right now, back into Ryrie, and now heading back closer to Swan Valley. This band is also working into Bingham County, leaving Shelley and Firth at the moment, moving through Blackfoot, and more snow now rotating in here out of the Arco Desert from INL. You can see the rotation puts that snow a little bit further south, closer to Pocatello here later on this evening. We're stuck with this convergence zone at least until I see about 8, 9 o'clock. About 10 o'clock, most of the stuff will be fizzled out, but we're still going to be stuck with uh, passing snow showers in the far eastern Idaho and western Wyoming late tonight as the snow works out of the valley. Some spotty snow showers and flurries currently working into Caribou County, but mostly to the mountains around Soda Springs and north into around the Blackfoot Reservoir area. There's the front right now. Again, it's right overhead pushing out of here. That's why we have the conversion zone behind the cold front. And further down the road, into Thursday, we're actually going to push in some drier weather. It's not going to really warm up tomorrow, so this graphic might be a little deceiving in that department, but we're holding on to some drier weather for Thursday and Friday. We're going to work on another storm system trying to get down in here from the northwest by Halloween and into Tuesday and Wednesday for next week. Meanwhile, though, the winds are calming down for the rest of this week. For tomorrow, the wind speeds will be a much more manageable 5 to 10 miles per hour with the gusts approaching at times 15. So breezy but not horribly windy here for your Thursday. And as we step into the Vipercast, I want to show you late tonight we have some spotty snow working out of Pocatello, getting into the eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. By about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, we still have just a lingering pocket of some light snowfall in that direction with a clearing sky as you head further to the west. Now, moving into Thursday, we're expecting to pull in a little bit of some patchy fog, but it's going to be a fairly sunny afternoon with some drier weather, and we're not expected to really see any snow, at least for the next couple of days once we get past tonight. Friday, clouds will start to seep in from the northwest, but generally it's going to be a dry forecast getting into Friday. We'll get some snow into parts of north central Idaho in here for Saturday afternoon. Might get as close as salmon, but that's pushing it a little bit here. We're going to keep most of those snow showers just west of our region. Then we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week. We'll start to develop some snow and rain possibilities late Monday, but more of that wet weather being pushed into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Upper 30s for Lava and Soda tomorrow with a high of 42 in Preston. Highs in Jackson at 39, 41 for Rexburg. And we got 35 in Island Park. Temps in central Idaho hitting the mid 40s for Chow's, lower 40s for Mackey, 41 for Ketchum, minus 2 tonight in Stanley. Haven't had to use that in a long time, but that's typical for Stanley being a high elevation mountain basin. 42 for Idaho Falls, 45 for Pocatello, and 47 in Burley. All right, we'll start with the Idaho Falls eight day forecast. The good news here. We've pushed the showers out of Monday just a bit and more into Tuesday and Wednesday. It looks like that storm system is going to take a little more time to work down in here from the northwest. Uh, meanwhile, temperatures at 47 for Friday, 50 degrees for Saturday and Sunday. So at least it's going to be a little nicer this weekend to do some stuff around the house. Jackson, 39 cold conditions here for tonight and tomorrow. And the snow departing the region with partly cloudy skies through Friday and highs back into the upper 40s. Over to Salmon with a high of 52 for Friday and the mid-50s for Saturday and Sunday. We're expecting to see a few clouds this weekend and some rain and snow entering back into the region for salmon beginning on Monday afternoon. So we might have to be dodging some of those raindrops, at least in Lemhi County, as we're going trick or treating. Rexburg highs around 46 for Friday, upper 40s for Saturday and Sunday. Scattered snow and rain showers beginning late Monday, continuing into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. 
Blackfoot, a high of 48 degrees for Friday, low 50s for Saturday and Sunday. And we're into the mid 50s to get us into Monday with overnight lows back into the upper 20s to lower 30s. And we'll wrap things up with the Pocatello 8 day forecast. 45 degrees for tomorrow, 52 for Friday, and then 55 for Saturday. Not bad for the weekend. In fact, temperatures right near where they should be to close out October and then heading into Halloween itself. Partly cloudy skies, low risk of showers currently in the forecast for Monday. More of those showers working through for Tuesday and Wednesday heading in post Halloween. We'll send it over to Eric. All right, thanks, Michael. Coming up at sports, BYU is stuck in a slump. Then they try to break out of it Friday at home against East Carolina. We look ahead to that matchup and tell you about a milestone night on the ice next on Sportsline. First alert, Sky.